We are just about one month away from tax deadline. Can you believe it? You got to mark your calendars. It is April 18th. So it is time for a little tax talk with the experts. We asked CPA Donnie Burkett from Burkett and Burkett and Burkett. What are the deductions that people seem to miss out on the most? And the first one on his list is everything that goes along with your charitable contributions. There are other things you can deduct for charity. For example, if you have a charity that you that you buy some supplies for, some maybe but some of that you buy some food for, for one of the plate things to give away food, you can also deduct your mileage back and forth for your charitable work. And you can also deduct if you give items to the charity, such as clothing, uh, those type things that you can household items, you can deduct the value of those items. Just remember, you always need a receipt from the charity so you can have that for your tax return. Okay, next, what do people miss? Well, when it comes to child care tax credits, things have changed this year, so you might actually be getting more money back than you did in previous years. The child credit has gotten, a, the dependent credit has gotten a lot more this year. It's almost double what it was in the past. So pay particular attention to make sure you get that on your return correctly. I just had an example where we were looking at somebody's tax return and they paid a little bit more last year than they did this year's child credit. But their credit last year was $1,200 and their credit for 2021 was $7,200. So they got $5,000 more of a refund they got the previous year. So just to understand, if you pay for your child care, make sure you use the child care credit. Okay, next on the list, Burkett says to pay attention to the recovery rebate credit, especially if you are one of the many people who made less in 2021 than you did in previous years because of the pandemic. It's actually based on how much money you made in 2021. So that's a reconciliation process you have to go through. They gave you a check of X, you got to make sure that, that you would do that check or that you might get more of a refund. So, so just make sure you prepare, you know exactly how much you've got a rebate, a, a rebate for the stimulus. So you can put that on your turn. And we're finding a lot of people, for example, who made more money in 2020 than 2021, they're getting an extra deduct, getting an extra credit on the tax return and getting a bigger refund because of that. And finally, Burkett says filers often miss the deductions that they can take if you are self-employed and you pay for your own health insurance or if you are on Medicare and self-employed. As a self-employed person, you get a deduction for the health insurance you pay. That'd be what, maybe what you pay Blue Cross Blue Shield, but also what you pay Medicare and Medicaid, those type of expenses you get. Normally, you would use those as itemized deductions and you might not get to take them, but as a self-employed person, it becomes an adjustment to your income and so you pay less taxes. And if you have any questions, Burkett says it's always best to reach out to a certified CPA and ask. I'm going to give you this deadline one more time, April 18th, 2022. Do not forget. And if you want to check out all of these tips, just look for this story at WLTX.com.